Hey guys, how's it game? And I'm Phil the Blanks. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Metroid. We've finally gotten to basically the end of Meridia. We're ready to move on with what we need to do. Instead of bouncing around and figuring out what we have to do, now we only have one way really left, and that's around here. Uh, We're gonna get a very special item too very soon, which is awesome. I definitely want it. Come here. Thank you. And ah no, okay good. Ooh. -hoo. S fake spikes. That's what a little, uh, little x-ray vision does for us, shall we? And... Oh! Things. Look at that. So perhaps something here. Hey, hey. And there we go. Alright. We are not full for, um for missiles or anything like that, but that's, that's okay. We have our next, next major boss here, which I think is called Dragon. I'm not 100% sure, but it's a very weird looking area with floaty boxes, which is a little odd. And first thing first, let's take care of those gun things. These hurt me? No, they don't even hurt me. Bam, there we go. It's a very weird boss. If you remember this boss, you know that there's two ways to kill it. There's the regular way of shooting its soft underbelly, and then there's another way. I'm going to try the other way, but basically, if you don't know how to do the, the crazy way, then just, you know, attack its soft underbelly. Boom, 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 like that. It does a decent amount of damage to me, too. Oh, it's nice and slow now. Oh, oh, damn. Oh, and it's got me. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Uh, let's get the... What is this called? The friggin' <laughs> grapple beam. And just keep shooting till you grab. Come on. Got it. And then just let nature do the work for you. That's it. That's the boss, believe it or not. It's way easier than the normal way. And it's like, oh, it's corpses just kind of there. It's kind of there. And those babies are like, we'll help you, Bobby. And except they're like, blah, 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 eating her flesh underneath the sand. That's so gross. Ugh, nasty. But yeah, very, very easy boss. The bosses aren't super hard in this game, as you can probably tell already. That's why Phantom is, like, so dangerous, because, you know, it goes kind of, goes kind of a little crazy. Anyways, we got the Space Jump. Oh, my God. This makes, this makes uh, the entirety of uh, Meridia so much easier. So a lot of the stuff I've been doing the last couple episodes, which was Explore Meridia, could have done at, you know, after I got this. So not only do we get an amazingly cool jump animation, but I can now jump in the air as much as I want, as long as it's a somersault. Incredible. Awesome, 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 awesome. And that means things like getting out of here, which you wouldn't be able to do kind of, I, yeah, no, you'd be able to do that normally with with, with um, wall jumps and stuff, so. But yeah, now it makes uh, wall jumps basically not important, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, holy crap, we did it. We're. We basically could leave Meridia right now if we wanted to, but, uh... Oh, is that hurting me? It's weird. Anyways, uh, we could leave Meridia, which we're going to be doing, basically, but... The game, uh, does show me a couple places I should be going. Uh, there's been a few... Oh, dang. It's kind of weird the way Space Jump works. If you don't do it at kind of near the height of its jump, then you're gonna fall but whatever I mean it's still not a bad thing it's, it's great to be able to jump this much uh, yeah there were a lot of um, doors that haven't been opening for me they've been uh, all grayed out and now we can definitely go through them the game kind of leads you to those areas like that one right there for example careful of Metroids though ah. oh nice kind of leads you through Meridia in a different way, which is great. And I'm gonna get killed anyways, because I'm just bad in general. <laughs> You're new. You're a blue version of something we saw a long time ago. Ah, shit. I don't think there's much around here, to be honest. So we're just gonna keep going and hopefully stop getting hit all the time. Damn. <laughs> we're nearing the end of the game. Now that we only have a single major boss left in the game before we can approach Torian. It's pretty great. It's pretty great. Where is this leading us? 
Seriously. Uh, back to the normal part of Meridia, which I hate so very much. And now we can finally go through this door that was at the bottom of the, um, bottom of this area. Haha, -ha, isn't that great? And let's see, we could actually go over there. Let's do that, shall we? Wait, no, wait, where are we? Okay, phew, whew. I looked up that, that little blue area to the right there, uh, near where the boss was, and I was really worried. I was like, I don't I don't know what that was. How did I miss that? Um, it's just a missile, um, not expansion even, just a missile um, kind of restocking area, so definitely not super important. But remember, a couple episodes ago, we were over here, and we found another gray door, so we're definitely going to head into it. Jeez, I'm bad with the space jump. You know what? I'm just going to do my regular jumpies. Regular jumpies. Regular jumpies. Definitely good. Yeah, the space jump is really there just to help you out. And there's a couple places where you do need it, but like, if you're more comfortable with regular jumpies, use, reg use your regular jumpies. It was new area that is now open to us. But what could be in here? Wink. Give away. Oh, dang. Come on. I like how in Zero Mission you can grab onto um, ledges and stuff. It made uh, just barely making the jumps so much more uh, not, not annoying. Ooh, these guys are frustrating. It's kind of weird they were just kind of there all in one kind of group like that, but whatever. Shit, we got more of these space pirates that we couldn't destroy last time. That's okay, because now we have... Oh, the plasma beam. Yay. Another, I believe... Um, optional item but basically the plasma beam is our strongest weapon it's kind of weird it makes it two beams out of three but it can kill those guys and it's super powerful you'll also notice it also goes through enemies and that's pretty damn cool so crowd control is no longer an issue i believe you have to kill everything in here before the the door will open anyways just to kind of give you an exam or uh, not an exam but like a chance to use your new uh, your new beam so let's get out of here you do need the space jump to even get out of here. Well, I mean, I guess good wall jumping could probably help out, but you can't get in here without the space jump anyways because of the, the way the doors work. And that's kind of why this little group is here. Boo! There you go. Now you can see that that group of little monsters and little aliens or whatever so much easier now that you have the plasma beam. So we have every beam in the game. So definitely awesome. That is great. We are only missing, I believe, two more super like upgrades to, to Samus. The rest is just like missile, missile expansions and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Definitely feel way more powerful than we did at the beginning of the game, I'll tell you that. Anyways, let us keep going. We're here anyways. Let's take a nice shortcut, shortcut through... Ooh, I want that. Through that, like, crazy tube from a couple upstairs ago. Down we go. Yay. And there was another area last episode that was like, what do we do? And that is perfect perfect time to show off the space jump. We'll just kind of make our way over here. We don't have to deal with uh, oh, the sand. Thank God. None of that. None of that. Don't want to deal with it. Not anymore. I'm better than that. <laughs> Anyways, let's hang up here, I guess. There we go, and space jump, if I can make it. There we go, space jump, space jump. No, I space jumped my way back down. Come on, space jump, there we go, all right. Make our way up here. Oh, dang, that was annoying. Did not expect that, I'll be honest. Damn, well, I'm not really good to get that timing for the space jump, which is weird, like I'm pressing it. See? Like, let me jump, please. It's very specific on when you, when you have to jump. Okay, you guys suck. The plasma beam takes care of you. Love it. Love the plasma beam. Anyways, fall, fall, fall. Careful not to fall there. You'll fall through that floor, and you have to go around again, which is super stupid. And, whoops. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. Because I think I, I need to let him do what he's doing. Oh, no, he's just... Oh, yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> this is super annoying, this whole little area. But basically, I wait, I didn't even press anything there. 
I must have been like shooting it as I went into the door. That was really weird though. Keep my finger away from that button and... Okay, he's not gonna blow, blow, that, blah, blow that up, so... Use the power bomb here. Okay, and now we just kind of wait this guy. Uh, it's so boring though. So boring. But what he can do is go right through it. Come on. There we go. It's kind of weird. It's still the basic um, animation of a block exploding. Because, I mean, it's still a grid-based game, right? So, it's kind of weird that they just wouldn't, like, recolor to make it look like sand. It just makes it look like they're, like, weird gray blocks when they start getting destroyed. Anyways, you do got to wait for this entire thing. It is super frustrating. But there's another optional upgrade to get. So it's kind of crazy. We're 10 minutes in, 11 minutes in now, and uh, we'll have gotten three upgrades for Samus, leaving only one major upgrade left. Let's kill you now. Ah, oh, the OCD in me is like, oh, there's only one block left. Why didn't you let him do it, Phil? Anyways, with that, go here. And this is kind of, you know, like, why is this block here? Well, now I can't get out. Uh-oh. I mean, you can actually bomb jump, so it's not really that big a deal. But, I mean, if you don't know how to bomb jump, you're like, shit. Because the game doesn't teach you to bomb jump. But it doesn't really matter because we now have the spring ball. Nice. Love that animation of Samus just flipping. It looks so cool. The, the whole, like, ah, it just looks awesome. Anyways, we can jump in ball form now. We can jump fairly high, too. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Anything here? Looks like there'd be something right here. No, that's super weird. You'd think it would be there, but whatever. Jump. Love it. So, that was what I was talking about last episode when I fell through the sand. And I was like, oh, this is so hard to get. If only I could do something. But it was it was this. Basically, you could have just gone right through the normal part of the game. Just gotten the spring ball and the space jump. And Meridia's secrets are way easier to get that way. So, that being said, though, we are done with Meridia. I am so done with Meridia. And the only thing left in the game, other than just collect items, because now you can collect, I believe, every single item in the game with uh, with these abilities, uh, is to make our way and find Ridley. And where's the one area that we've talked about that we have not gone yet, other than Torian, of course. And that is that power bombable door in Norfair. Like I said, even though we had power bombs, there was going to be another um, barrier of sorts that I would need a special item, and we have that item. And then after that, there was going to be another barrier. Well, guess what? We have both of those items, so we can definitely keep going. Keep going. We're going to make our way back to Norfair, which is great because Norfair is over here. Oh, wait. No, it's not. This is a map room. Hello, map room. Goodbye, map room. By the way... I missed this. Ugh. That blue kind of area there. I know how to get it now, but I didn't learn how to get there myself. I saw it in a video, and that's not fair. Maybe we'll have to do a bonus episode of a bonus episode of everything we've missed. Just for fun. But I really want to kind of go see how much I've known about this game while playing with you guys. See how much I can find myself. See what that that percentage is, basically. So here we are back in. Norfair one more time we're gonna go deep deep into lower Norfair it's gonna be awesome so awesome Let's see where we are right now and where we gotta go our way down right here and run like the Dickens nope that's just a map room Phil <laughs> Oh, not map room, save room, whatever. And now we gotta run. Boo, 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 boo. There we go. And where is it now? Just gotta keep going down. Just gotta keep going down. Is it here? There we go. Oh, sorry about that. Is there anything here, actually? Um... Oh, okay, so it's not like through there then. I shall keep going. Actually, can I go through there? 
can now, now that I've got the uh, the wavy that goes through everything. Down we go. Oh, I can kill, like, so much now. You're so powerful. Going back in these areas with, like, this type of stuff is just so awesome. Energy, might as well. Might as well, thank you for that. Wouldn't mind a, a missile recharge station just to get my super missiles back up to par. And all we go. Excuse me. I do not have time to deal with you. Yeah, so that's what I was talking about with the grapple beam. It's now not important to really have. So. Anyways. So. Down here. Last area in the kind of regular game that we just kind of ignored up until now. What could possibly be in there? So anyways. If you got through here, we didn't have everything else. Because like, oh man, that broiling lava. I don't have the gravity suit yet. Just kind of go in here. And be like... It would tease you. Look at that. Look at that. That Ridley mouth. Oh, it's like a, clearly a gateway. But it doesn't matter because now we have the gravity suit. So we can go through here, no problem. But then even if you had the gravity suit, you're like, you're, you're like, how do I get through this? And you can't wall jump there because of the spikes. You're like, whatever, I need the space jump. And I need to use the space jump properly instead of being terrible at it. And there we go. We are finally in Lower Norfair. We're going to take down Ridley. We won't be able to do this at, at this episode, because this is kind of like a new kind of area. Get saving going. Why not? Thank you. And even though there is a uh, an elevator here, it's still... I still think it's still considered just Norfair. I think? Yeah, it's just Norfair. It's like Ridley's hideout in Norfair, so like it's still the same map. You just get different music and stuff like that. So it's still like part of this area. So yeah, let's look around, see what we can do. Enemies hit hard around here, so you want to be as careful as you possibly can. Space jump helps make this stuff way easier. So hooray for that. It's great. Super great. And lava doesn't really matter to us anymore, see? Oh, it does. Oh god. Oh god. Lava still matters. Lava still matters. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. What we have? What we have? There's stuff. There's stuff everywhere. There's stuff aplenty. Oh. Another bowler. Another bowler, Chozo. Good for me. Finding you. And lava goes down. It's kind of a random little thing that you need to find. Whatever. Thank you. He doesn't want to bowl today. It's like, no. The lane's too, too dirty. <laughs> I'll let them clean it up first. Anything around here? Nope. Alright. There's something up there, though. I mean, it's got the dot, but is there an actual thing? I guess not. It's, just, it's probably just pointing you to it so you know that the Chozo guy was there. Nice. Nice. Oh, this is so Ridley's Lair from the first Metroid. The, the, those types of enemies enemies you only saw in that area. It's very cool. Very cool. And, ooh, a missile. But we know what's going to happen if I jump down there, so... No, no, why am I so bad at the space jump? No! Well, too bad. I can't get it now. Ah, shit. Oh, thank God. New Chozo thing. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, no! I mean, I knew it was going to be that. But, yeah, we have... Another, I think it's the chorizo, I think it's called. But, damn. Okay, I actually do not remember how to beat this guy. How do I... Yeah, he grabs your super missiles, throws him back. So, we're not going to use that. How do I take this guy out? Oh, we well, can use, um... Nice, charge shots. And now that my, um... You know, it's got the, got the plasma missile, or plasma beam. I'm pretty powerful. God, so is he, though. He's a lot of damage. Shit. Ah, right, wrong way, Phil. Come on, man. Oh, wow, lots of super missiles. Which isn't good, because I can't do anything with super missiles. Oh my god, this guy's draining my health. Step here really does that. Oh, oh, is he dead? Oh, God, what the hell? There he goes. Jeez, what was that? That was super odd. Anyways, he's done. 
I hate that I can't get that friggin' missile pack. We'll probably get it before the before I leave. And good timing, because we're basically done this episode. Oh, missile, I want you. But before we go, there is still something we want to do. Um, how do I get this? There we go. No, come here. Come on. Hey, why can't I space jump properly? Bam! Super missile. That is awesome. Is everything that's here? Just gonna double check, like I always do. And alright, with that, we will continue through Ridley's Lair next time. I'm Phone Blanks, and I'll see you guys next level. <gasps> hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on Patreon.